Hi guys, it's Matt here from Scoop in Response, and today we are going to be going over a deck that I've brewed with a deterministic combo that you can resolve on turn five hundred percent of the time. Uh, this is, of course, assuming there's no interaction. But uh, the coolest part about this deck is it's extremely budget friendly. So at the time of recording, it is thirty six dollars complete. Uh, so that's obviously super awesome to try out a new deck for such a low cost. Um, the deck itself consists of 85 basic swamps, uh, which is going to help the budget pretty significantly. Um, so it's a bit of an interesting deck. And uh, obviously the commander that we are looking at is Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, which is a new card that's come out uh, with Kaldheim. It is a 2-3 three for 3 with Death Touch, and it has a boast ability, which is basically Demonic Tutor. Uh, or, or rather Vampiric Tutor, that you get to search uh, your library for a card, shuffle the library and put the card on top of it. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, as I said, about 85 basic swamps, um, which really help towards the budget. And you're probably wondering how the hell that's gonna work. But uh, I guess the list itself, we've got um, five creatures with uh, Cryptic Shrill Bite, Ugin's Conjurant, Zulaport Cutthroat, Shimamir and Bone Miser. Uh, in addition to that, we've got four instants with Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, uh, Empty the Pits, and Ad Nauseam. Uh, and then we've got five artifacts with Lotus Petal, Tormod's Crypt, Welding Jar, Soul Ring, and Spawning Pit. Um, you can switch that for an altar or something like that if you don't have the Spawning Pit. Uh, I just went for the cheapest card that actually gives us the effect that we want. Um, and of course our uh, commander as well, so Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. Um, so the deck is, is obviously very simple, but it does have a very specific way that you, uh, that you win if you want to execute the win on turn five. Uh, so we'll go through that now with uh, the play pattern. So turn one is a really simple swamp and pass. Turn two, swamp and pass. Turn three is a swamp and you play Varagoth and pass. So there's obviously nothing happening in the first three turns. Now, if you were to go down a more expensive version of this deck and put in, you know, mana rocks and everything like that, you're more than welcome to do that. But there's a reason that we've kept the overall CMC with our um, deck very low at a total of about 25, uh, just because we want to be able to use Ad Nauseam um, completely. So turn four is where we actually take our first real game action. So we play a swamp uh, and we attack with Varagroth to activate the boast ability which will let us tutor our ad nauseam to the top of your deck. So really Varagroth is just uh, there to allow us to get our ad nauseam guaranteed on the top of our deck for turn 5. Um, so we untap on turn 5 and we play a swamp uh, and we cast ad nauseam. So at that point we can actually draw our deck uh, because all of the cards in the deck assigned from the add nauseam add up to a total of 20. So you take 20 damage by literally flipping your deck and drawing the entirety of your deck because you've got 85 basic swamps in there. Um, yeah, so it won't kill you. Um, normally, you know, add nauseam, uh, you're building it and playing it in a CEDH deck, but I thought this was a really funny way to have sort of mid power, um, you know, combo that's quite deterministic. So we've got our entire deck in our hand. Um, <clears throat> And we want to cast the following. So we play Welding Jar for zero. Uh, we play Tormod Script for zero. We sacrifice the Welding Jar um, targeting the Tormods, and then we sacrifice the Tormods uh, targeting an opponent, definitely not our own graveyard. Now the whole point is just to get these two uh, artifacts into the graveyard. We don't need them to do anything else. It doesn't matter if they don't exile any cards or anything like that. Um, then we play Cryptic Trilobite for zero. That goes into the graveyard. We play Ugin's Conjurant for zero. That goes into the graveyard. And then we play Lotus Petal for zero. Uh, we then sack this for one black. Uh, so we cast Dark Ritual, which gives us a total of three black in our mana pool. And then we cast Soul Ring and tap for two colorless, which gives us two black, two colorless in our pool. Uh, so in our graveyard, we've now got Ad Nauseam, Welding Jar, Torment Script, Cryptic Trilobite, Ugin's Conjurant, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual. Uh, all of these add up to seven, giving us threshold for us to cast our Cabal Ritual. So we cast Cabal Ritual, and then we will have a total of six black and one colorless. We then cast Bone Miser for five and Zulaport Cutthroat for two, putting us to zero mana again. Um, now here's the fun part. So we basically played out all of our, uh, our spells in the entire deck with the exception of one that's in our hand. 
Um, and we're gonna move to our end step, move to our discard and cleanup. So at the cleanup step, we discard everything in our hand with the exception of four swamps, uh, shimmer mirror, spawning pit, and empty the pits. Um, so this means that we're actually putting 76 swamps into our graveyard. Uh, and this will create 76 triggers for Bone Miser, um, which means that uh, we can resolve those 76 triggers of the Bone Miser to generate 152 black mana. Uh, then we cast Shimmer Mir for three, and thanks to Shimmer Mir's ability, we can then cast Spawning Pit for two, um, because we get flash to all artifacts with, uh, with Shimmer Mir. So this brings us to 147 total black mana in our mana pool, thanks to Bone Miser. Um, we then want to cast Empty the Pits, and we're going to delve the 84 cards in our graveyard uh, as well for uh, X equals 127, which will generate 127 zombies. Um, so with 127 zombies on the field, we can then proceed to sack each of these creatures to Spawning Pit, uh, and each time we sacrifice a creature, we're going to be dealing uh, one damage with uh, Zulaport Cutthroat which means that we'll be doing 127 damage to each of our opponents and gaining 127 life from Zillaport. So that's basically how, uh, how the deck works. Uh, and so it is like 100% deterministic. You cannot fail in any way unless someone removes a key piece or counters a spell. But it's really, really important to note that missing a land drop will affect the turn in which you can go off. So sometimes you'll get the Soul Ring opener and everything happens a turn earlier and you can win turn four but often you won't. Um, but the most important thing is you need to be able to start the game with, with four or five lands uh, at an absolute minimum, um, just because you know otherwise you're not going to be able to cast your Ad Nauseam on turn five when you, when you should be able to do it. You're not gonna be able to get your commander out. Um, yeah. So this iteration of the deck is intentionally designed to be the absolute cheapest version of the deck. Uh, and while we're still maintaining that um, complete deterministic resolution of your combo by turn five, uh, with no interaction, obviously. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much for checking out the deck. Uh, it's really fun to sort of just come up with these ideas and uh, I encourage anyone to have a crack at building this and playing this um, just because it's a really fun way to surprise your, your play group. Um, you know, it's gonna look like you're doing absolutely nothing and then the next turn you'll, you've won the game. So yeah, lots of fun. Uh, look, thanks very much and I'll see you next time.